Oh, that's reasonable. Sure, we can pay a visit, but the inspector's call should take priority, I think. That took a whole day. Hmm, he obviously wants secret. I don't think that's it. Wait, you think the inspector worked here during the ancient regime? Do you think that's how he got his war wounds? It was a joke, Sparrowson. I'm pretty sure the inspector isn't that old. Well, well, well. Severin, what are you doing here? Settle down, JJ. Just like you, I was invited here by the inspector. What could he want with all three of us? It's hardly unusual for the lawyers and police of France to collaborate. The inspector probably has a big investigative role that requires all hands on deck. Big investigative role? Sounds juicy. Oh, by the by, did you hear what happened to the Judge Romulus? No, what? Turns out that he acquired his position of judge through illegal means, so a warrant has been put out for his arrest. He's wanted. He acquired his position through illegal means? What does that even mean? I'm a little hazy on the details. Something about pushing another judge into the sign. I can't be I can believe that. Anyway, I'm sure he'll be caught before long. Nobody manages to escape the long arm of the law forever. Speaking of which... What the heck? <laughs> we just, you, like... Disapparated into that? Oh, good! You're all here. Excuse me, Monsieur Mr. Inspector Valetti, sir. Falcon and I were wondering, did you get your injuries while defending the old Bastille prison? Don't drag me into this, you fool. I was joking. You impudent whelps, I'm not that old. I sustained these injuries when in the July Revolution 18 years ago. I was a royal guard, just a lonely peon. The air was thick with gunpowder and blood. Oh, great. Now you've set him off. We were given the order to charge at a rebel barricade. My comrades and I fastened our bayonets. Suddenly, boom, without warning, a gunpowder keg exploded. My comrades were dead. I was heavily wounded. That's when I looked up and saw a looming figure standing between the gargoyles of Notre Dame. It was the Viridian Killer himself. Him. This is a fascinating story, Inspector, but perhaps you could tell us why we are here. Oh, right, of course. Why we're here. What I'm about to tell you is to remain strictly confidential. You understand? It's a matter of national security. As you've probably heard, France is under threat from a certain heinous group. Yes, hipsters. Hipsters. It's true. The other day, I was called a pop-loving pleb for enjoying Chopin. Now's not the time for joking, you two. The inspector's obviously talking about the growing rumours of an uprising. Correct, a rebellion is coming. Indeed, rebels, there's a storm brewing in the shadows of Paris. We, the Paris Police Department, have known about it for months. No, yes. In every tavern, on every street corner, people talk of organizing protests and overthrowing the government. The king has ordered for public gatherings to be dispersed and newspapers to be censored, but the whispers of dissent no surprise there. If you take away an angry citizen's ability to speak, they will just get angrier. Indeed. And that's why it's paramount that we find and strike at the heart of the rebel group as soon as possible. Do we have any leads? Just one. We know that the rebels are having weapons supplied to them by a crooked merchant who is only referred to as the Croque Monsieur. Hmm. Like 
like a sandwich? What? The Coke Monsieur. It's a hot sandwich. Cheese, ham, a little bit camel. Throw on some peppers if it's Friday night. This has nothing to do with sandwiches. The Coke Monsieur is the alias of an accomplished and notoriously dangerous arms dealer. In any case, that's everything the Parisian police know. That's everything. That's all you have to demonstrate after years of tracking. Mm. Naturally, as a public prosecutor, it is my duty to help the police with their investigative work. I would be honored to lead any and all assistance. Sucker. That's very good to hear, Monsieur Cocorro. But what about you, Falcon? Well, to be honest, Inspector, I don't quite understand why you're asking me. I'm a private defense attorney. I work for citizens who get stuck in legal trouble. Rebel hunting isn't quite my forte. You want to know why I'm asking you? Look around you, Falcon. We are surrounded by corruption and incompetence. The judges are bloodthirsty wolves. The jailers are thieving ravens. And the National Guard. Look at the slackards and dullards who supposedly protect and serve this country. Nobody cares about justice anymore. You saw my shameful display at the previous trials. Those are the results I produce with imbeciles to assist me. But you three, you care. Falcon, I saw you defending Dame Catiline and Prince Juan. I heard of your escapades around the city, frantically collecting evidence and interviewing witnesses. Frankly, you did more investigative work of the last month than I've seen any policeman do in a year. Not including myself, of course. But Dame Catiline, it, it doesn't matter. You have passion and conviction, and you aren't a total bird brain. By my book, that makes you a fantastic investigator, even if that's not in your job description. So what do you say? Do you want to sit around your office twiddling your thumbs another pointless job falls in your lap? Or do you want to take this opportunity to do something great and help us track down the animals who wish to do harm to our glorious nation? I would be honored to help my country, Inspector. Consider us on board. Excellent. Just what I wanted to hear. I had no idea you were such a patriot, JJ. There's nothing wrong with a little national pride. Oh, uh, yeah. Pride is fine and all, but, uh, do we get any compensation for this? Of course. Here is 50 francs. You will receive another 50 upon the completion of your work. 50 francs? <laughs> Being under salt. Hush, Barrison, this is a great opportunity. I don't want to keep you any longer than necessary. You already have all the key facts of the investigation. Find the elusive croque monsieur. Find where the rebels are congregating. Those are your two tasks. I will check up on your progress in a week's time. See what you accomplish by then. If it's anything like if it's anything like the past, we will not accomplish very much. <laughs> I'll be doing my own independent investigation into this rebel group, JJ, so I suppose this is a competition of sorts. Why you gotta make everything competition, Kokoriko? Try to keep up with me. Don't make me laugh, Severin. I'll have all the rebel leaders behind bars before you can have your first suspect. Come on, Svarison, we have a croque monsieur to hunt. Okay, let's go. Meh. <laughs> I knew a little comp competition would kick those bird brains into gear. Well, Inspector, this has been a productive meeting. I should probably start my investigation in the Croke Monster, too. Not so fast, Kokoriko. There is something else we need to discuss. Mm, what could it be?